First off, shout out to the Saint in the Center. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. If I were to say you're a dumb Negro. Over I beg your pardon. That's why you bring says, that up because that's meaning to you. This is what he you does when he doesn't know are a prostitute. You that's are a Negro. Shut the fuck. Shut. Up. And you want to convince everyone else that you're normal. Why? So you can feel in included so you don't go through more mental turmoil knowing that you're different in a bad way. And so you have to reorganize the whole society, including their morality. You want to redefine words when you can redefine yourself out of being with y'all, which is a whore. It's not about redefinition. Because. And it's about you look at the culture, you look at outdated lexicon. People typically don't use whore in the same fashion they used to. People don't use the word Negro in the same fashion they used to. And you wouldn't give I the whole. Did. What you was the second the one though? Speech. I didn't hear the second one. What was the second one? You wouldn't give the same. What was the second word? I justified what no, you what was the, the second word? I didn't hear you. I didn't Negro. hear you. Negro. 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 The same whole speech if I said, oh. aren't you? What? I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill. This is the one thing I hate about liberal ideas. They always try to compare how they're treated or what they think to being black. These two things are not even close to the same. Calling somebody a Negro is an identification of their race. Calling somebody a whore is an identification of their behavior. Like, don't try to compare the two. Malcolm X didn't die so you could sell yourself. I am a Negro. But if I were to say no, 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 vitriol, no, let's get with it. No, 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 no. Let's get say, after it, baby. Let's get reality, say, baby. Why can't we call you a Negro. No, let's get in reality. We're tell me, I'm a ne say you are a Negro, and then I'll tell you you are a whore. Let's see how we react. Go, tell me, hit me. The yeah. thing, love, I am a Negro, and you are a whore. And I'll tell you why. Like because if you want to use the word Negro, it's referring to a group of people who share features. And if you were to use that term, however obsolete it may be, it's still a real word. And if that term it means that I am a word. descendant of those who were victim of the transatlantic enslavement, also known as the Mayafa, yes, I'm a Negro. And if I said you are a whore, I would be accurate in saying you are a whore because I am rightly categorizing you with women who sell their bodies. You are a prostitute. In fact, just a high tech prostitute, but still a prostitute. And you would not be known by a different name it's just sure, a fact why you clues. can't why let's you can't deal with the truth if you, you don't want the truth body, you, didn't you don't want the truth why don't you address my analogy if i were to sell pictures of a lamborghini am i selling no one buys pictures oh my god can but you not engage listen, with a hypothetical? you're, okay, you're a prostitute obviously. you're a high-tech <laughs> prostitute that's what i'm telling you you're saying that because i don't sell my body on the street you don't know i'm not a prostitute you're a high-tech prostitute that's all there is you're a high-tech prostitute that's all there is your own emotions and not actually oh emotions please stop you don't want to be a whore Hung, 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 hung. I'm, I, I feel, bro, I'm emotional. Really excited about me. You know, my eyebrows have not moved this entire That's Botox. Podcast. That's all it I've is. Damn. I see her analogy and I actually really like it, but. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. If you can pay for a man's sexual gratification, the moment you press withdraw, you're a prostitute. These types of people don't understand the difference between shame and guilt. Shame is external, and I'd argue that most Western countries don't shame women like this enough. So when sex workers are trying to change society to call them something different or accept their behavior, it's not because of shame, it's because of guilt. The only problem is guilt is an internal mechanism. And the reason you feel guilt is because you're doing something bad, not because society is doing something bad to you if you want to change what you are don't try to change your job title change your job i said well how hard can it be boys do it and then i said how hard can it be boys do it and that time it like it like hit me in my chest and i was like oh my god that is so real you lying i like you man you lie a lot You gotta back up. I don't, I can't take my foot off the gas when I do. Give it gas. At the same time that I won the brake? Yeah, and then as you're giving it gas, let off the brake. I'm so scared. Why'd you keep going? I didn't mean to. I can't see anything. I don't know what to do. I'm so scared right now. I can, I don't have a jack. You gotta back up. Isn't it gonna go forward before it goes back? Not if you're giving it gas while it's in reverse. Then let off the brake. What, okay, what happens if when I let off the brake and I'm giving it gas backwards, I go back too fast? Will anything happen to You're gonna go off the ramp. And that's fine. Okay. Ah, fucking look. I, I don't understand why people use ramps.
Well, well, well. How the turntables. Well, 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 what do we have here? She made a whole video doing stuff, trying to prove that she doesn't need a man, but the whole time there was a man behind the camera helping her. Ironically, that's a perfect example of feminism. Got him. of the, the lead car as uh, Christina Aguilera fakes an interest in Formula One. What would you rate me on a scale from one to ten, just out of curiosity? On a scale from one to ten? Yes, you know. Let's not use the word scale with you, fat ass. What would I rate you on you a scale? You just laugh at your own joke. It just makes me feel good okay. to call you fat ass. Thank you. What would I rate you? Yeah. I don't know. I'd rate you like a... I'm, I'll be serious, honest. Okay, go. You're probably just a little below average. Like, if I saw you out in public, I wouldn't, and you looked at me, I'd be like, ew, Lexi, that creep's looking at me. I would think you're just like an unattractive guy trying to hit on me. If I looked if I at you, you? If you looked at me you're like you're- You're so full of yourself, that's insane. If I, if someone glances at you, you think yeah. they're hitting on you? Yeah. So you think everybody's hitting on you? Pretty much. You think all these guys in the crew are hitting on you? Yeah, they're doing it right now. It's pretty weird. Wow. So yeah. Little... I'm on your team now. I see it. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. Yeah. These are pigs. They all are. Yuck. You think we got enough you're material for this? A six? And you're like, you're a four. Fuck you. That's not mean. That's I'm not, not fucking mean. four, you fat goon. That's not mean. I'm definitely a six. I just told you who I thought I was. A god. The best part about being a man that's a six is if you got money, you start looking like a ten. And the best part about being a short man is if you stand on your money, you start looking a lot taller. I bought this car. You don't take no videos by yourself. I bought this car. Put it on my face. Did me. I made the purchases. So I decided to take a walk through the park. It's so cute here. It's so my idea too. Let me see. How come every time you post a story, I don't be in the cut? No, nigga, she's with me. She is with me. You cut it off. I'm about to smash this. I'll pay for that big dog. Don't even worry about it. It's all me. Keep scrolling. Yeah, don't be out here trying to post the plate and not the date. I am newly single and I have been single for three months and I chose to leave the man. I was going to get married. He was perfect on paper, but I walked away. Why? Stupid. Because I am very... <laughs> <laughs> and this is why, like, yo, this is what I'm trying to say. Arranged marriages are a thing because women make bad decisions. No, kitty, kitty, because kitty. I'm like you. I'm very picky and I know what I want. And it's like, although someone's maybe perfect for me on paper, and yeah, he treats me like a princess and things like that, there's things that I need, and if that person doesn't have it... You're 29. <laughs> yes, yeah, so a lot of women value their happiness. Can, can we, can yeah, mm, yeah, like, the yeah. person was a people pleaser. What? Like, no. we, not just with me, but with, like, the family, his, his friends. It, it was, like, the people around him, he was just... He's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can I, I actually, can I? No, no, can I, no, no, I, this is I wanna, that's not crazy. what I wanna. No, this you know, I'm crazy, happy with it. You know, I gotta be honest. I think I'm siding with the woman on this one. She's 29 years old and this guy is a multi-millionaire. So she could have acted happy and then took half of everything he earned. So the fact that she chose to not marry him shows a little bit more character to me. And yeah, women don't want to marry nice guys. How she's describing him is he was a people pleaser. So he was probably the butt of every joke and he let people take advantage of. We shouldn't try to be nice guys. We should try to be good men. Know how to take a joke and also be willing to help people, but also know when to set boundaries because people might be trying to take advantage. Be a good man, not a nice guy. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a W or L and give me the HBO special. That's a help brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.